Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer and today we're going to be unboxing this month's Loot Gaming. I am so excited to open it. I completely forgot what the theme is, which kind of makes this all more exciting because it's like a total surprise, um, which is my own fault for being derpy because I feel like I saw the theme at some point. I think it's like deserted maybe or cast away. I can't, I can't really remember. But if you're not familiar with Loot Gaming, it is one of these bad boys. It is stuffed to the brim with specifically gamery filled goodness. Every month there's a theme. This month's theme is a mystery. I'm kidding. As soon as I open the box, I will let you know what the theme is. I just, I just am not prepared. I'm not prepared. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Tape is open. I probably made a bunch of terrible noises when I hit the scissors on everything on the way up, but we're opening it up. Okay. All right, I'm going to try not to look at everything because, of course, the magazine is not the bottom. What is everything is in here? Oh, it's stranded. I was close. I said cast away. It was stranded. That's pretty similar. The art is kind of cool, too. I remember seeing this art. I love the art that they do specifically for these. So I don't want to see what this stuff is, but it looks like I'm going to open this because there's going to be terrible plastic noises and I'll come back. So hold, please. All right, we are back and with less plastic. Stop. What is this? No, this is so cool. I'm wearing pajama pants. So when I get up and you see tiny dogs on my pants, don't be, don't be alarmed. But this is so cool. It's a dead island towel that's like white with like blood stain all over it. And it's huge. It's probably, I would say it's like five foot by like maybe two and a half foot if I had to guess. And it is like, okay, so I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but a lot of beach towels are not absorbent. They're like soft, but they're like too soft to absorb anything. They just would like spread the liquid, <laughs> the moisture around on your skin instead of absorbing it. This is like an actual usable, nice terry cloth towel. Like I am so impressed with this. This is such a good item. And that is sick. That is so amazingly gross. Oh my God, I love this so much. So that was the first thing that we got, is this Dead Island bloody hand print. I assume it's a beach towel, but I mean, it could be any sort of towel. Let's see if I can look in this without. Okay, so Desert, Desert Island Resort Towel. It doesn't, oh, it's 30 by 60. What did I say it was? What did I say it was like six feet by like two and a half feet? Ha, ha, get a load of me. I meant five feet, not six. I said five earlier. I just saw 60 inches. My brain is very bad with numbers. That's something I've learned recently is that I, I'm good with things on paper, but the moment you ask me to like say numbers out loud, done, done. I, it's like, there's lots of things in my mind that I can relate. Like when I'm, you know, names and faces, which I'm also not that great with, but at least there's something there that you can be like, Oh, I know something about, you, you know, you can like, you can relate things to each other, but with numbers, there's nothing to relate to. So it's just like, they're all the same in my mind. Anywho, the next item in our crate is, oh my God. So this is amazing. It is a Laura Croft vinyl figure collectible. And, oh my God, what the noise is. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. So this Laura Croft is super cool. She is very detailed. She's a little vinyl figure that's kind of that chibi style with a big head. She's looking right down like the sights of her guns, dual wielding, and she's very detailed. She's got a little backpack and a little ponytail, and she is very, very cute. Not that I'm a big complainer, but my one complaint is that I don't believe there's any way that she's standing outside of her little box, and I don't always display things in their boxes. That being said, I don't mind displaying her in her box because she is the 20th anniversary special edition type character and those types of things I tend to like to keep in their packages anyways. But I do wish she had come with a stand just so that if you did want to display her outside of the package, you had that option. Next in our Loot Gaming this month is the collectible pin. This is, of course, the stranded theme one because that's the theme of the pin and it's sort of like an island with a sword. It's all metal. It's super nice. I love that Loot Crate has switched to these metal pins because they're so much nicer and they're so much, I don't know, like more satisfying to collect, I guess, but I'm a weirdo and that's just how I feel. This is very heavy. I don't know what this is, but this is very, very, is this a flask? Oh my God. Oh my God. So this is super cool. This is an Assassin's Creed leather uh, flask. The outside is leather. The inside looks like it's maybe stainless steel or nickel, and it's got a screw on, screw off top. You could. You, this is a functional item, and this is this is very cool. This might be one of the coolest things we've ever gotten out of a loot crate. No less a loot gaming, but this is this is really cool. I can't believe they sent me a flask. I'm so into this. 
Oh, the shirt this month is awesome too. This is a Far Cry Primal shirt. And it reminds me of the He-Man shirt that we got a couple months ago. As you can see, there's like layers of sort of like simplified things. So we've got like a saber tooth tiger and some sort of bear and a mammoth. And then I guess that's us down at the bottom with the bow and arrow. But this is a really cool shirt. I really like the whole like two color motif. It's just like, you know, grayscale and then, and then orange. This is an awesome shirt. I got a women's small if that's helpful to anyone. And it's one of those like premium, nice like thin soft tees. That's very nice. And then this looks like a crate that you would turn inside out. Let me hold please. 20 minutes later. So I'm pretty confident that this box is actually meant to be stored in this way. And you could either get rid of this flap or you could tuck or cut these under like that. Because if you had this up on a shelf, you know, if you were a little person guy, you'd walk up these stairs on this platform, up these stairs into here. So if you were to set this like on a bookcase or a dresser or a desk or something, you could store it like this and then you could put things on the flat part that would be sitting on the shelf and then it adds another platform for you to store stuff. So it kind of like doubles your storage capacity and adds a little bit of visual interest. I really like that Loot Crate takes the time to do this because I feel like it makes these boxes much more likely to get recycled or even better is like reused because, you know, if these, these nice boxes you can turn inside out you could use them as like a gift box and they look they look nice they look like you put some effort into whatever you're giving that person or if we talked like we talked about earlier if you used it like on a shelf you're sort of adding more functionality to your space while also preventing this from going to, bleh, bleh, preventing this from getting thrown in the trash so I really like that they do this and there's been a bunch of these crates that I have like around my house in various places but I always use them when I like ship things to people or like give gifts so I think it's a really thoughtful thing that Loot crate does that a lot of people might overlook but I think it's actually like one of those little things that makes a big difference so yeah, that was it for this month's Loot Gaming. I think that the standout winner by far is the Dead Island Towel. This is amazing. I think this is probably worth the cost of the crate itself. The t-shirt is awesome. Um, the flask is amazing. The Laura Croft figure is cute. I really do wish she had a stand though so that I didn't have to display her in the box, but it's, it's not really a big deal. A lot of people would display a collectible like this in the box anyways. I would just like the option to not have to, but I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. I definitely feel like it was very much worth uh, what it costs. If you're interested in a future edition of Loot Gaming, I will have a link in the info below. It's lootcrate.com slash trade chat. You can use code trade chat off of your first order. If you're interested in any of the other loot crates, I know that the upcoming regular standard crate is anti-hero themed. There's going to be stuff from Harley Quinn, Kill Bill, Archer, Hellboy, as well as a full copy of World of Warcraft through Warlords of Draenor, 30 days game time. And then there's also this really cool pin. This is the pin for the standard crate that's coming up this month, which, you, oh my God, come on camera. You have until the 19th to get this crate. So on top of all the other franchises I just talked about, you also get that copy of World of Warcraft. Um, the pin and also 30 days game time and then there is um, so there's also like loot wear which is like in addition to loot crate they offer like separate things like you can get just a t-shirt and it's not the same t-shirt that's in their other crates and this month that t-shirt is World of Warcraft and I've seen it it's amazing it's only nine dollars shipped to the US which with my discount I think comes to like 809 or something so if you are interested in getting that t-shirt I would highly recommend it I've seen it it's a super super cool shirt and I know that right now I think their sizes go all the way from like extra extra small to five extra large so it's a great deal and if you're interested in that it is lootcrate.com slash trade chat epic and you can get 10% off by using code trade chat epic there's lots of other loot crates there's kind of like something for everyone so thank you for everybody who watches this video and uses my code to get a loot crate it really helps me out and it helps the show and it's just a helpful thing to do and thanks as always to loot crate for sending me all this cool stuff to show off to you guys so thanks all around um Thanks for watching the video. I said thank you again. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'm gonna go. Uh, as soon as I find out what the theme is for Loot Gaming, I'll let you know on like my Twitter or my Facebook and maybe I can update the description. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I love you all. You're in my heart. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.